guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni and I am the blogger behind SimpleLivingMama.com and in today's video I'm going to be doing a how-to cleaning video and I'm going to teach you guys how to deep clean your old top loading washing machine with an agitator naturally. Now um, it's been a while since I have really cleaned this washing machine and you will see that. It's got a lot of grime and yucky stuff going on but we are going to take care of all of that today um this washing machine is about 13 years old it's it's still kicking so that's definitely a good thing um what i am going to use today to take care of the washing machine and get it clean is my baking soda and my vinegar. If you can find cleaning vinegar, I recommend using that. I am just going to use the distilled white vinegar and then I am also using a microfiber cloth to get everything nice and clean. And my light just went out, so that's why the lighting changed a little bit. Now, if you want um, a non-natural alternative, uh, there are washing machine cleaners. This is one that I like. We use it for the washing machine. I have, a, I have a visitor here. Yes, the light went out, I know. Um, we use this one for both the washing machine and the dishwasher. It works really, really well. I know Tide makes one also, but we are just gonna go ahead and use our natural method. Now you will find that I am not actually measuring today. Um, we're gonna do about a cup of baking soda, and I probably have a little less than a cup in here, but that's all right. And then about two cups of white vinegar. If you wanna measure, that's what I recommend. A cup of baking soda, two cups of white vinegar. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna open this baby up and show you what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm opening up my washing machine and you will see that there are definitely spots that are really, really gross. So I need to tackle all of that, all of that down there. Yeah, that's nasty. And then, um, of course, this is an old washing machine, so it does have stains on it. But the first thing we are going to do, hang on a second, is we're going to remove the fabric softener whoop, and pop it right off. I'll wash this in the sink with some dish soap. And then this thing in here is going to get cleaned out too. So we're going to get rid of all these hard water stains and all this gunk and yuck. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make sure I have it set to super, I have it set to hot, and um, you can do extra rinse on or off, whatever you feel like doing. And we're going to take this, we're gonna fill it up, oh, about a quarter of the way with hot water. Okay, once we have a good amount of water in there, we're gonna go ahead and pour in our baking soda. Okay, and now we're gonna pour in our vinegar. So help me, Eli, you wanna help me? Yeah. Woo! I'm gonna do it. We got it, we did it good. Yeah. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rag here and swish it around in the water and then just start cleaning all of this stuff, all of these bits and pieces off. We have cleaned all around in the um, nooks and crannies. It was pretty nasty, I told you guys. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some Q-tips to get these little areas really clean up here. You could also use pipe cleaners or something. Um, but you just need something that can really reach Yuck. See, look at that. That's disgusting. 
need something that can really, really reach all those nasty spots. So that's what we're gonna work on right now. So now that we've gotten all of that fairly clean, watch out bud, I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar to the inside of this agitator. Thank you. I'm gonna give it a swish with my rag, clean it up, and then we are going to fill this the rest of the way and let it complete a wash cycle. All right guys, so we have put the fabric softener dispenser back on. I cleaned out all the crevices that I could, got out all of the built up dirt and junk and gunk. Um, it's not gonna be perfect because it's a very old washing machine and it's got some hard water stains and stuff, but um, it is still a lot cleaner than it was. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.